everybody. Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer here. My name is Todd. Sassy's off camera having a full bottle of wine. <laughs> and, uh, you know, today is Friday night for us here at the, uh, the Greenhorn Homestead. And uh, the other night we went to KFC for dinner. You know, I'm pretty sure everyone's done that uh, once or twice. Mistake. Yeah, it was a mistake. We got screwed at the drive through um, They gave me some potato wedges instead of mashed potatoes and gravy. But, uh, you know, I was hungry and so they was were sassy. And they were old. So we, uh, we went ahead and ate it. Uh, that's okay. Lessons learned. But uh, we still want some chicken, so um, tonight we're gonna make some barbecue chicken legs. Um, we're actually gonna um, put them in a bag and, and get them marinated up overnight, and we're gonna actually make them tomorrow morning. So in the magic of Holly Weird, we're gonna magically appear the next day with these chicken legs ready to go. But first I'm gonna show you how exactly we're gonna do that. So these are the chicken legs that we're gonna use. Um, I'm not really big on brands, but I guess this one's a Foster Farms. They were on sale. Um, they look pretty fresh to me. Um, always check your expiration date and uh, look for any punctures in the plastic and uh, you know, any signs that they've been tampered with. Smell it. Um, yeah, definitely smell the package. Uh, you know, make sure that they haven't been uh, getting too uh, funky in there. Okay, we have this pretty neat rack here that holds, I think, up to 12. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. 12 chicken legs, uh, they hang from the rack, as you can see, um, so that it uh, gets that smoke all the way around the chicken legs and uh, keeps them from getting uh, waterlogged and any kind of sauce or anything, if that's not what you're trying to do. Um, so that's what we're going to do on the smoker tomorrow. Um, we're going to use a basic Italian salad dressing, and we're going to put them in a sealed up airtight bag to let those things marinate. Uh, sorry, to let those things marinate overnight. Tomorrow morning we're going to come out and put them on the smoker. things uh, right now I got the smoker coming up with some uh, hardwood lump charcoal in there okay I'm sure most of you know how to start a fire in the smoker if not uh, there's plenty of videos out there but what I am using is 100% lump mesquite charcoal I've used one of those paraffin blocks to uh, get it started and uh, right now it's coming up to temperature right there and uh, once it gets kind of gray and ashy at the top, just like you would on a regular barbecue, I'm going to pour it into that uh, fire chamber there. And then I'm going to throw some oak that I have here, there. Um, mostly white oak, but there's a few chunks of red oak here. Um, California red oak, white oak. It's about the closest we got here in California without breaking the bank and having it shipped over from, you know, post oak from Texas and stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is take the drumsticks out that have been marinating overnight in a very tight, tightly sealed Ziploc bag with some Italian uh, salad dressing in there. Um, so they've been marinating overnight. We're gonna pull them out, put them on a pan, and we're gonna use some Killer Hogs hot barbecue rub really lightly. We're gonna put them on a rack, and then by that point, I think the smoker should be pretty close to temperature. I'm gonna go for around 250 on the smoker, maybe a little bit higher, and I think they'll probably only need about uh, two hours or so on the smoker and then we'll, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how they turn out.
news, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, tap that bell down there to get notifications every time we upload something. Be sure to check us out at greenhornbarbecuebeer.com. Uh, there's a little bit of behind the scenes stuff there, some links to some uh, rubs and some favorite gear that we like. And, and maybe you could find something that you guys might want to uh, try out um, and expand your barbecue influence. So uh, while we get that chicken cooking, just want to introduce you to this really hot chick that's uh, visiting us from uh, from out of town. Her name is Sunny, and she's a cutie. Oh, there she goes. Uh oh, where'd you go? Oh, so she's definitely shy. Where is she? Where is she? There you go. She's really shy, but uh, she's uh, about nine months old. And uh, her and Pat seem to get along pretty well. All right, so you guys already know that we love all kinds of barbecue rubs and seasonings and uh, sauces, glazes, you name it. So from time to time, we're gonna drop a link down here in the description to Amazon directly linking you guys up with some of the best rubs that we found and also that are out there by popular opinion. So go check it out. If you found something that you want to suggest that we drop in our links, go for it. And be sure to check out greenhornbarbecuebeer.com because we'll also have some links to some other stuff there. Okay, look at Sunny Go. That's uh, the hot chick that's visiting us from out of town. So three and a half hours later, the uh, chicken breasts that uh, Sassy Kitchen Queen wanted me to add are looking like they're done. Uh, I had put the fat in toward the fire and uh, on the rack there you notice a couple of the legs shrunk or got slippery or something they fell off but uh, the reason I'm narrating here is I uh, had a equipment malfunction and the microphone apparently died on me so I apologize. So the color came out really good. Um, we cooked them at about 250 and it uh, held temperature really well. Um, about halfway through I went from white oak to hickory. Um, never basted them in anything, just uh, smoked the whole time and we took them right on and off. But they, uh, they ended up looking really good. So uh, we're gonna take these on inside taste them so they got a really nice brown mahogany color what, what do you think of it? oh they look great oh there's a patch so of course got the rug rats so it's our greenhorn mascot so i think deb is gonna take the first taste test um the chicken breast came out really good surprisingly uh, moist juicy you no know, we didn't uh marinate them at all just the legs got marinated and uh, so of course they all got the uh, killer hogs hot barbecue rub and so Sassy's going in for a taste right here so again I, I was really surprised that they were as moist as they, um, they were it was just really tasty and the smoke flavor Ooh, look at the juices pour out yeah uh, this, the smoke flavor was almost to the point where it was almost too much, but not quite too much. It's kind of about where I like it to be. So maybe how that tastes. Mm -hmm. Good. It was really juicy. good. Really juicy. Very good. Very tender. So this surprisingly had really good bark. And... Um, I was really surprised that the bark and the rub set up like it did, um, and, and it just tasted so good. Uh, I prefer dark meat, 
and the legs were just exceptional. It was really good with the uh, Italian dressing marinade uh, soaking overnight. Uh, it, was, it was just so awesome. It was just really good. So again, about uh, three and a half hours at 250 Oak and Hickory, um, Keeler Hogs, hot barbecue rub. That's about it. Um, what more do you need? Didn't need a whole lot more, except maybe a couple of beers, a couple of drinks. And uh, I think we uh, found a pretty good recipe. So anyway, um, guys, take care. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit us up, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Thanks for joining us. Cheers.